You walk into a vintage store and you just can already kind of like get that pit in your stomach mm -hmm. and you know there's some good things here and you just get that like excitement of like powering through the rack, coming back with 20 things. All of the girls, like we all kind of dress alike, you know what I mean? So the like kind of outcasty looking girls are now what everyone looks like. I spent my first seven years running around in like 20 acres of, of trees and ponds and like we had this river behind our house we would like go and make little like mini hot springs in. Growing up it was our mom. She was very much just like love your body, love yourself, like run around naked, like whatever we wanted to do it was just very accepting. My dad is, is he's always just kind of put inside like you know like whatever you want to do like we love it. And, support so the only thing I'd say is like they're a lot more protective they kind of want to keep me the baby mm -hmm. I think as long as possible like I'll come here and I'll be like how did that get into the response and then <laughs> the guys always like why did you take my stuff I remember like every day before I went to school be like scout like like dress me like put an outfit on me but I would look ridiculous because I was like 10 sizes too small for all of them but like I didn't care I think truly the best feeling in the world leaving the house absolutely feeling so good about what you're wearing. I got this denim jacket in Rhode Island from Savers for $7. And my favorite part about it is it has like a little patch on the back. It has like a mm. little eagle and it has the name Wolf on it. These are just a pair of vintage Wranglers that I got. And then this is my mom's sweater from the 50s. A lot comes from the sticky fingers of um, children. This shirt I got at a vintage store when I was at Brown this summer. Me and Scout drove down there when we were staying in Newport. And it was like this huge warehouse of like old door frames and old knickknacks. And in the back is like a vintage store tucked away. And I found these like vintage fry boots and they're slightly too small, but it's okay. One I got um, at the flea market at the Rose Bowl and then one I got in Idaho. I really love creative writing and poetry. We're having a whole like unit next year on California. Which I love because I love LA so much. You can go to the Holly River Cemetery and you can see a movie projected on Mausoleum. You can go to like the silent movie theaters on La Brea. You can go to any of the museums like the LACMA, the MOCA. You can go to La Brea Tar Pits. You can go up to Griffith Park and have a picnic. You can hike Runyon and see like the entire city. You can go to the beach. Every little aspect I would ever want is in this city. Or there is, of course, that side of LA that's so exactly like what the stereotype is. Can't like lie and say that it doesn't exist because it, it very clearly does, mm -hmm. but you don't have to succumb to that life. I love going to like the flea market and then kind of seeing one piece and then in my mind thinking of like a certain look that I've seen. I wanted boots so badly because I had two older sisters who were already going through puberty and already developed women and I was so insecure. All I wanted in my life was to feel like a woman and not feel like this little 12 year old boy. I saw my body go from like a little bean bowl to kind of have like a woman shape. So you take a step back and it's like, oh my god, so where am I gonna be in two more years? Like it's like this crazy shift of I'm I'm older now. Like I'm I'm the person that like I used to look at and be like, they're so old. Like I'm that person now. It's very, very trippy and very odd. I had this huge fear of of people being upset with me. So when they do like I get I get so heavy with emotions. Because I, 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 as a person, like, I, I really take on other people's emotions, especially with my friends. Like, if they're upset, like, I fully take that on, and I'm fully right there. I've had so many friends of mine, um, you know, I've had, like, eating disorders, especially before Coachella. There's this whole, like, diet craze before where you just, like, don't eat anything for, like, a month. It, and it's so bad because everyone always talks about, like, how that's not important, but... Everyone is like on this inside, like weird hidden place, like wants to be that, wants to be that weird skinny little person. It's almost like weird if you're like, I love my body, you know? Somewhere to say, oh, well, I love it. Everyone's kind of like, oh, you're conceited. I don't have to be insecure to fit in. It's like you have to be insecure and hate yourself to be like the norm. Don't be afraid of what people think. It's just like, have fun.